Hey guys, in this redgamingtech.com video, I'm going to be going through a few tips just to quickly test if your power supply is working or not. So, first thing you're going to have to do is switch off your PC, and you can unplug the power cable if you wish at the back that goes to the power supply unit, and then you'll have to open it up. Obviously, just undo the screws. And then once you have opened up your PC, you'll need to locate the big thick wire that's going from the power supply to the motherboard. Um, it's going to be either 20 or 24 wires in one, depending on the age. Anyway, it, you can see it on the screen now, it's fairly distinctive. And once you've found it, you just need to squeeze the clip and pull it out. Just be careful, you don't want to wrench too hard on the motherboard itself and bend it or whatever. And then once it's out, you're going to need to find yourself a paper clip. Yeah, that's right, a paper clip. Now, there's a few notes on this one, so don't just go rushing in to stop the video now. So you need to find the paper clip and then basically bend it into kind of like an N shape. Now, a few notes before I begin. First of all, you need to make sure that it hasn't got a non-conductive paint on the paper clip. If it does, then there's a good chance that it won't conduct electricity. I've actually had this once before. It was located. Uh, it was um, sorry. It was coated in some kind of like plastic residue. So you need a nice metal one, or you know, bare the ends of the other. If that's the case and you don't have a paper clip handy, you could use like a small strip of wire or something similar. Just make sure it's thick enough to be able to handle the amps. So anyway, you need to basically bend it into the two pins that I'm showing you on the screen now. Uh, it's the green and one of the blacks. Basically, I just choose the one you can see there. There's only one green wire. And basically what that does is on the front of your PC, there's a power switch, obviously. And when you press that, it's the equivalent of basically the motherboard sending a signal to these to this green wire, which basically just turns on the power supply. So this is a pretty dirty trick. It's not 100% foolproof for one small reason. And that is, for example, let's say your PC is requires a certain amount of wattage and amps to fully work. So for example, to fully kick in all the power supply um, you know, requirements such as say the fans, the processor, power of the motherboard, the graphics card, uh, hard drives, that type of thing. It could be that your power supply just about has enough power to work, but doesn't have enough power to, well, run everything, and therefore your PC still doesn't kick in properly. But generally, this is just a quick and dirty tip, so just worth bearing in mind that if you have like a high-end rig, your mileage may vary on this trick. But still, I use it as a kind of a first line. Um, it eliminates about 50 to 80 percent in my um, in my case anyway, or power supplies that I found have been dead. You know, this is just a quick and dirty trick if a friend just calls me around real quick to tell me, hey, you know what, my power, my PCs just stopped working. This is one of those tricks I just use. Um, I just find it works quite often. And if not, then you can start doing some real fault diagnostics. Anyway, um, as I was saying, you just want to bend it into the end shape, put it into the respective uh, pins, as I've said, the green and the black next to it, as you can see on screen. And then you can either use tape um, or something you know non-conductive around the whole thing if you so desire, or you can just be a bit careful and make sure you don't touch anything metal or indeed you know touch it yourself with your bare hands. Anyway, once you've done that, you can plug the power wire back into the back and press the big switch on the back of the PC. What will basically happen is you'll need to look to see if there's any signs of activity on the PSU itself. So for example, if it starts kicking in, or for example, any case fans, because what's basically going to happen is the motherboard's not going to receive any power, uh, because obviously the big ass wire has been removed. But what indeed will happen is that the rest of the PC will be using, uh, well, will be receiving electricity, and that would include, say, the fans. So it's a, just a quick and dirty trick just to see if, say, the PSU on the, sorry, the fan on the PSU kicks in. If it does, then it could be something else. It doesn't completely rule it out, as I've said, um, because it depends on, you know, just how working the PSU is. For example, it could be, as I've said, that the PSU is on its way out and is not supplying sufficient amps to, 
PC in. So in that case, you know, you're going to have to do further diagnostics. But for this video alone, I think it's a good place to call it. It's going to be quick and dirty and will give you an idea of whether there's any signs of life on your PC whatsoever. If, however, you do want another basic tip, what I would recommend then is either trying to make sure there's no, you know, connections removed on the PSU itself. Um, indeed, once I actually had a case where the power button itself on the front of the PC was actually faulty. And so what you could actually do, and uh, this is just a quick and dirty extra tip, is you can quickly check that, the button itself on the front, by locating the switch, well, the wire to the, the switch. Um, it should be something like P w r s w or something similar like that if not you can read your motherboard manual or similar or case manual if the case may be but it's generally easy to identify it um it will be at the bottom small little connections uh, i don't have s images for that one sorry but you know um, you can always google and what you can do then is just use a screwdriver or something just to short those two together with obviously all the power uh, the 24 pin or 20 pin depending on you know the age of your PC once again uh, power connection plugged back into the motherboard then you could obviously remove the paper clip first and then you could try shorting the power switch pin on the motherboard what can happen then is if it you know kicks in it could be a sign that the power switch on the front of your PC is damaged or you know worn out dying or loose connection or something anyways so just a quick tip to show you how you can remedy a, a broken PSU or at least you know kind of get an idea whether it is balked or not so hopefully you guys have found the video a little bit helpful and I'll be putting out more of these little quick tips at some point in the future bye for now